I am the Pope, the number five, the spiritual father, the old man with a white beard who makes spirit descend from on high to the earth below. I am leaning against two blue columns that connect me to the higher mind. I take up almost the entire card, symbolizing that spirit is everywhere. To find it, you only have to come to me, like the two monks in front of me. I will then transmit to you the divine word, the word of the creator. I am wearing an impressive crown with three levels, representing the three planes of existence. On the bottom, the red level symbolizes the physical. In the middle, the blue represents the emotional. And at the top, the yellow represents the mental or intellectual plane. My shepherd's crook ends with a triple cross, another symbol of the three bodies of man. I am holding it in my left hand that is wearing a gold glove embroidered with a Maltese cross. That hand of love is protected against all physical touch. My sleeves are colored white of divine purity. I am dressed in a long blue robe covered by a red cape with a gold border. It is fastened by a round brooch. This black brooch is situated on my throat chakra, the center of the creator's word that came from nothingness. As Genesis tells us, in the beginning was the word and the word was God. This divine piece of jewelry gives me great ability as a speaker and a counselor who spreads the good word. Sitting on my white throne, I am protecting my purity, even as I come in contact with the earth. At my feet, two young monks with their scalps shaved have come to ask me for guidance. The one on my left is very active, so he is dressed in red. He follows his intuition. From outside the frame, a third person stretches out a yellow arm, seemingly pushing this monk towards me, as if to say that he should awaken his mind. This young monk's hair and scalp are flesh-colored. He is therefore essentially a lustful and earthly character. The monk who is on my right is wearing a gold cloak with a red shawl, his sleeve is white. His skull is yellow, showing that he is much more evolved and intelligent, pure in his intentions. He is wearing a blue hat that is hanging on his shoulders. This indicates that the monk is an intellectual, but he hasn't yet become spiritual. I bless them with my right hand, three fingers bent towards my gloved hand to capture the energy that is coming from on high. I transmit it below to open the minds of these young novices so that they might know the world of higher thought. My basic symbolic values are spiritual study, the wisdom of the elderly, interior richness, slow and well thought out action, the gift of the word, good advice, teaching, the power of reconciliation, mediation, generous love, and union.